Deputy McIntyre. Let's let's talk. Let's that just have must a chat. Make you my vanguard captain. It does. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. I, I, you have you my know, gratitude. I'm somewhat of a. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the cabinet. Um, Chief Yassine wants you to hell, know yeah. the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor, accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the archives. You do know what the archives are, correct? Oh, of course. They're the repositories for all the band data from the colony war. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? I mean, of course. Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. Yeah, exactly. So, why would I not? Also know that it was McIntyre. managed by the three major galactic players. I mean, this is this, this is common Access knowledge. Access to the archives yeah. is only granted in cases of everybody knows emergency. this and requires a one-time use code from each of the three armistice signatories. You see, Freestar Collective and House Varun. House Varun. You know, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. The ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun to hand over their codes. Get them both easy. and you'll have your data. <laughs> but that's a lot easier easy. said than done. That's easy, dude. Don't even trip, dude. You'd think they'd be clamoring to help after the spaceport attack. I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now... I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. I mean, that's and easy. And I do mean cooperate. That is none of it. Threats and it's violence easy. are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Freestar. Ah. <sighs> The good Ambassador Ratcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Oh, that's fine. Now, officially, I mean, our office is suggesting you try and I, negotiate. I'm gonna piss in her cornflakes. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. Freaking foreheads, it Maybe dude. that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. All right, tell me about these other tools then. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. Yep. We just need to find the squeeze. Yep. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. Of course. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. Of course. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Of course, I'll just put on my chameleon no, spacesuit, crouch, in the middle of the night while they're asleep, and steal it, but be out of their way. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. That's all the info I need for the moment. Um, okay. If something okay. goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promises. Okay. Yeah, for sure. That's all that that's all, all right. I need. Here. Your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassine wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Tell me about it. Ambassador Balmore of House Varun. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. a challenge. Of course. When the rest of House Varun of retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing nice. of the armistice, we love that. Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member Has of he? House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. It actually sounds pretty promising. It does. But there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since, since he last, last poked, poked his, his head, head out. out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. 
Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Uh, I'll track him down. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Of now, course. if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. Of course. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Of course. The Freestar Collective Archival Code. Steady uh, at work to do this. Here we go. Gotta go to the lobby. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. I'm good. Well, um, here, here we are. Let's uh, acquire this code. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please. All right, here we go. I'm traveling over here to, um, I guess the embassy. So that I can try to gain access. So here we go. The Freestar Collective Embassy is right here. All right, let's see. I need to get in this ele elevator right here. Since we were at war with the Collective, when it seems like only yesterday. I'm going to be up front with you. I'm not happy visiting anything related to the Freestar Collective, but you lead, and I'll follow. That's not it. Terramorphs, as in more than one. All that security, and they still can't protect their own space. Here's I Ambassador just wish Radcliffe. I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a. Do I have any skill points I can? Uh, yeah, I do. Persuasion. All right. Strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, You're darn right, me. Cameron. Are you supposed to be in here? Of course. This building is Freestar Sovereign Territory. I'm sorry. So Do you have an appointment? We're the law. I'm here on behalf of the United Colonies. We need the Freestar Collective's help. Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Somebody's rings now, going off. she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're yes. here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. You heard it correctly. Mm. I was afraid of that. You're a smart Let ass. Me be frank, <laughs> the answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. Well, I don't really I give a fuck. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours? I could just go. blow your frickin' head off. Please, Ambassador, just listen to what I have to say. You're really gonna push this? Yeah. All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. Okay, thank you, Ambassador. Just hear me out. I'm listening. All right, are you willing? Because that's what you're doing by the cost of us. being wrong. Okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh... I suppose you're right. Our job and our responsibility. It's possible I might be letting my history cloud my judgment. Maybe. Possibly. Oh my God, dude, this is uh, this is sus. There are lives at stake here. I, I oh, baby. Be right. Oh, baby. Easy to lose sight of the big picture sometimes. Let's go. Well, Captain, you, Dude, we did that. you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, 
I'm gonna need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. Okay. You go in once. That's you get fine. everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Yep. Excellent. Let's follow fine. me. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. We're getting that data with ease, son. Your boy could take. Your boy could talk his way out of a, a wet sack. Your boy got them skills, them people skills. Your boy out here doing big things, mate. Big things, mate. Big things. They tell me it should only take a moment. Error. Biometric key required. And there. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy Mac. It's not supposed to be a long process. Thank it is you. For emergencies, after all. Now I have to acquire House Varoons. Let's go on over here and see what uh, what we got going on. Uh, okay. That's very refreshing. That door doesn't open. Okay. That's fine. I mean, no no big deal. No worries. House for Rune Embassy. Of course. This isn't what I expected at all. It appears the flora they were using as decor has overgrown the entire embassy. I've never seen a tree like this House before. House of the room, dude. It what the heck? More fascinating if its branches weren't stuck in their way. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, chill, 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 chill. Yeah, this, this is kind of trippy, no, no lie. Easy, get out of the way, dude. Ah, waste of time. Yeah. What's down here? Nothing. I wasted my time. Oh no.
Ah, too, too difficult. All right, there we go. Nice. Uh, approach the intercom. Okay. R. You did, yes. boy. Don't leave any of that behind. Approach the stranger. There's a stranger. Hello, stranger. So, what seems punishment becomes providence. A reminder we can never truly know the great serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Okay. Are you gonna sit down before we sit? We speak, speak? Like, what are you doing Not here? the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the venom tree upstairs has worked itself into. Tell me though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning Mention an attack. An attack. Uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Uh, the spaceport is in rough shape. Rough shape. Not much else uh, was damaged. Yes. Uh, is that right? Eh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot so It's so weird him having a Russian accent. Brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door? Hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and. Uh, ah. An archive code. Yep. So the UC requires information then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yep. Correct. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. Okay, deal. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. You have my word. As the chair of Constellation, I take personal responsibility in vouching for this man's integrity. He'll keep his word. Well, thank you. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. Oh yeah, boy. We about to get that cold bar. What you got in here? Can I take all this? The lock is too difficult. And there. Error. Biometric key required. Let it be used for good. Thank you, sir. For real. Much obliged. I will not have House Varun be known. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. How do I get out of here? 
I would like to get out of here. I'm gonna go back to New Atlantis, and then I'm gonna go back to the to the the place I gotta go. I hate to break it to you, but uh, I'm getting out of here, homie. But I do want to see what's up here. What do we have up here? Oh wow. Pretty far up here, aren't I? Settled systems. Very nice. Very, very clever. Indubitabus. Infinity Limited HQ. Requires a key. Fine. That's totally fine. You don't have to give me the secrets if you don't want to. Um, I understand. All too sure. What is this? Uh, our mission to deliver the best quality life improving technology today before you need it tomorrow, right? Your industry has the leader of technology, so it's crazy to strive towards advancement and believe there is always room for improvement for the link of desire as our number one goal. History. I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap. Job application. Whether I is all requests must be answered in order to. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. I need to go over here. Hola! Ah, Captain. Congratulations on joining the... Well, much, much obliged. Here we go. Here we go. Over here. I'm gonna talk to you. Captain, you're back sooner than... No need oh, to fret. Did, did you actually succeed? I did. With Radcliffe? And Balmore. I did. We're all in agreement. Yep. Yep. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. He sure was. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? Alrighty, now we gotta go to the Armistice, Ar the Armistice Archives. Oh. Hey homie, how are you? Goodbye. Hello homie. What's up? Armistice, the Armistice Archives, right here. Here we are. Here we go, dude. We're about to look at them. Yeah, guys. Relax. I got codes. Secure the, the future. Secure the past. I'm gonna go right. Here we go, son. Captain, we've been expecting you. Please approach the monitoring station and we will go over the rules. To proceed, you will need to deposit your codes into the three corresponding receptacles. Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin. Uh, okay. All right. All right, cool. Uh, House Varun. Activate. What is this one for? United Colonies? Activate and um, free star, free star collected. Oh my god, here we are. We're in here. I want to look at some other ones. I got tear morph data. Uh, let me let me get out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. I have the data. Let's go. I gotta bring it back to the the president. I think no, whatever her name is. I don't know. I don't even remember. Here at the embassy, you already know we're a decorated member of the United Colonies, the UC uh, Navy, the Vanguard. Dude, I mean, definitely a, a decorated member Captain. of society by this point. Be a shame if I 
went off hinge and messed all that up, you know. Be a, t a total shame. Hello. There you are. Yep. Captain. Deputy told me what went down. It was Impressive good. work. Yeah, it was, uh... Captain, if you'd be willing good. to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. 